enquiries and replies in any business the purchase department will enquire about products and stationery items machinery parts that may want to buy for the business and there will be replies which the organization will have to give for people who have enquired about their products and services so let us look at how these two forms of communication happen in a business environment the most common letters in business because that is what transactions are all about in business and this is generally a first category kind of letters and it is sent by an organization or an individual and they are the first and foremost information seeking letters enquiries enquiries letters seek information about a product that the company may be interested in buying categories of letters of enquiries what are the various categories one could be that an enquiry made at the buyer's own initiative that the purchase department wanted to buy an emergency lamp and it knows where to enquire and hence it may write to the company straight an enquiry made in response to the seller in the usual course of business possibly some of the people may have come and given some details about the products which they want to sell to the company which the buyer may be interested in and hence he could send an enquiry for those particular items which is of interest to him a routine enquiry made by an old buyer in the usual course of business the business has been running for long they have been buying items for very long and they have the usual set of buyers so hence there may be an enquiry asking for routine items an enquiry for some favor like some special price relaxation of terms and conditions which are very likely if we want some relaxation of terms because we have a money crunch this at this point of time and we want that benefit to come from the supplier chances are that we might send an enquiry letter based on that writing enquiry letters what are the things we should be careful about a letter of enquiry is ideally a direct approach letter hence it's straightforward courteous and to the point special care must be taken about the opening that sets the tone of urgency so if you are interested in buying something and the requirement is urgent then that needs to be communicated replies to enquiries an enquiry is an intention shown by the buyer to buy and hence the seller is obliged to reply immediately otherwise it gives a very poor image about the company which is selling quotations quotations are normal documents which have detailed information about the products which an enquirer has made with lots of details as far as pricing mode of delivery packaging and a whole lot of things which may be significant as far as the buyer is concerned we can ask for a quotation having sent an enquiry and got a reply and i'm interested in buying the product now that i'm serious about it i'll ask for a detailed quotation because based on which the buy will happen a polite request for quotation which is what will be included in the letter which is asking for a quotation details of requirements with quality and quantity of goods place and time of delivery because i may be buying sitting here for other factories hence i need to know if they can deliver any special request about the mode of delivery or packing special items they want special packaging and that may be requested suggestion that the volume of business will be large if the quotation is favorable obviously trying to get the best pricing since we want to keep uh, keep the buying on a regular basis with this vendor and we are also tempting the vendor to give us the best price sending quotation so reply to request for quotation points to be included thanks for the inquiry because the buyer has shown interest and is really interested in buying from me statement of prices and terms so in detail the various price items yeah for different uh, products that he has asked for and with the terms attempt to win the customer i'll i'll price it in such a way i'll structure it in such a way that is attractive for the customer reply to all the inquiries made by the customer very very important when the product is a final quotation is being given it should adhere to the inquiry form that the customer has made in the first place expectation to get the order so while it is still almost clear that the order is coming until the order is given by the customer the expectation is that it's going to come and hence i must make an attempt every time to ensure that the order comes to me a firm offer 
A firm offer is a promise to sell the goods at the quoted price provided the order is received within the stated time, usually 3 to 7 days. Because unless the order is given, the dispatch does not happen. So, hence a firm offer is a promise to sell the goods, saying I will give it to you. So, please send the order. Because in a factory environment, getting goods on time is equally important because there are factories which run with just-in-time inventory. So, hence it is important for the purchase department to know that yes, the goods are available and it will come. And then the whole transaction takes place as far as the sending the order is concerned. The letter states the reason for making the offer firm and the date up to which it will remain firm. A firm offer is a moral obligation but not a legal obligation. It builds goodwill with important customers. So, when the customer knows, yes, the good is available for me to pick up, okay, it, it creates the trust saying, yes, I can get it in, in a required time. Offering a substitute. Suppose I have a regular buyer and I am selling a good regularly to this person, but I do not have the item that has been asked for. I could offer a substitute. The substitute one offers must satisfy the purpose and need of the customer. Normally, the person will know that this is what the customer takes from me and hence can I offer him a substitute in the absence of the regular one. Withholding quotation. If a particular customer repeatedly asks for a quotation for the purpose of comparing with other quotations and does not place any orders, one may avoid giving further quotations. This happens when there are companies which take 5-6 quotations from different sellers, compare and then choose their own seller and many a times when the seller is you know send, uh, giving a quotation and does not get an order chances are that he may withhold the quotation bargaining letters this happens very often when there are orders placed large numbers and and the company knows that there going to be frequent number of these ordering they let the seller know that such a thing is possible and hence to get give the get the best price bargaining letters are sent so expression of thanks for the quotation Specific request for more favorable terms. Attempt to show that the supply will benefit if he gives the requested terms. Suggestion that frequent orders will be placed if the request is granted. This is what is conveyed through a bargaining letter. Seller's reply. In order to refuse the request of redu reduction in the quotation, e quotations are sent. The pricing, if it is not acceptable to the buyer, he will communicate. And if he reduces the price and it is not profitable for the seller, the seller can refuse. It is after all business is to make profits. He might make a compromise sometimes when he wants, the, wants to win over the customer. But a situation may happen that he is not able to reduce the price. In that case, the seller may have to reply back to the customer. It is good if the reply comes instead of not replying because then you lose the customer. But if the seller also tells him that he is unable to lower the price because of certain reasons the buyer will understand. In order to refuse the request of reduction, the quotation it must also be done politely giving sufficient reason for it and the language should be such as to persuade the buyer to buy at the mentioned terms and price. It should be able to satisfy the buyer so that no compromise shall be made in terms of quality or terms of service and the price offer is economical than the market rate. Basically, the seller is convincing him that it is value for money and hence he should not reduce the price. Getting back lost customers, letters are also sent for doing that and when there are several reasons why a customer stops buying. One, attracted by lower price or better service elsewhere. He was my customer but no longer because he has found someone else. Dissatisfied because of unadjusted complaint. A complaint has been made but no reply has been sent or the complaint has not been rectified, hence the customer is unhappy. Influenced by competitor's sales effort, the competitor was much more aggressive and had better value proposition than the previous seller, drifted away to other sellers. Since he was not paid much attention, probably he drifted away, gone out of business or shifted to another area. These are possible reasons why we could have lost customers. The most common reason though for loss of customers is that the supplier makes no effort to retain them and so they drift away. So it could be a regular practice to keep in touch with the customer, keep him updated on various 
new products coming in okay because uh, the customer may not know at all so if he knows about the new products also he could place a fresh order so we saw that in a business communication there could be letters in the form of enquiries in the form of replies in the form of quotations in the form of letters to retain customers and so on and so forth